MPLS layer 3 VPN configuration with RIP version 2 between provider edge and customer edge router. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use dynamic routing protocols, for example, RIP version 2 between the P and C. You know that in previous video, we configured the PEs with static routing in the VRFs and the method has one uh, D efficiencies and the D efficiency of that method, the static routing is that for every network that you have in every VRF, you need to configure one static route in the uh, P routers. And this has, uh, for example, some disadvantage. For example, you need to uh, use the uh, add more administrators and uh, maybe the administration overhead uh, increase and also the customer should wait uh, to you to for example adding new static routes because of that in most cases the better solution is using the dynamic routing protocols between the P and C in this video I am going to show you how you can use the RIP version 2 between the P and C's and also in the future videos we will learn about and other routing protocols between the P and C, for example, EIGRP, OSPF, BGP. Okay, let me to start the configuration in this scenario. Also, another thing that I'm going to show you in this scenario is configuring the ISIS as the IGP routing protocols in service providers. You know that in service providers, we are using one of the OSPF or ISIS protocols as the IGP protocol. If you saw the ISIS video, you can configure the ISIS in this scenario or if you learn ISIS in your previous studies you can use ISIS and if you don't learn um, or you didn't learn about the ISIS you can configure this scenario with OSPF but in uh, because we need to understand both of OSPF and ISIS it's better to learning ISIS, you can use my ISIS video. After that, uh, for example, you can configure in service providers ISIS. You know that for some courses such as MPLS, MPLS TE, Traffic Engineering, ISIS has some advantage to OSPF and you can use the ISIS easier. It's better to configuring some scenarios in, uh, for example, MPLS Layer 3 VPN with ISIS and some scenarios with OSPF to uh, for example, learning about both of these protocols. In this video, I'm going to use ISIS, but don't forget, for MPLS Layer 3 VPN, ISIS, ISIS and also M uh, OSPF, both of them can be used in the service providers. Okay, starting the configuration. This is the configuration of the scenario. I used this configuration in one of the previous uh, videos because of that, Again, I'm going to use this notepad file and after some change, we can use it for this scenario. Starting from the configuration of the router one. The first command is host name. Host name is R1. Also, we have ETH00 with the IP address of 10.1.2.1.255.255.255.0. This ETH00. Because of that, I configured the IP address on this interface. You know that we are not using the OSPF in this scenario because of that we don't need to change the network type of OSPF and uh, also in ISIS also we have the same command the similar command the ISIS network let me to use it here because in ISIS we are using the uh, we, we are uh, using the uh, Ethernet links as a broadcast network type and here we have only two rotors in uh, both sides of a broadcast network because we don't want to use the DIS for example in this scenario we can change the ISIS network to point to point or, but also this is the optional command you can use it or you can or for example use the uh, uh, default network type the broadcast network types okay ISIS network point to point is the command that I'm using here then no shutdown after that we need loopback zero because we need to configuring IBGP neighborship between the PE rotors here interface loopback zero has the same IP address the 192.168.2541 quad 255 then you know that we don't need the OSPF let me to remove the OSPF then using the rotor ISIS the first thing is in ISIS configuration is configuring the net address net and 
the net address can be used the for example area id i'm using the area id 490001 in this scenario because all of these routers are in the in one area in uh, for example my assumption and then net 490001 then for router one i can use this system id this is the system id in net address don't forget here I'm not going to talk about the detail of ISIS. I assume that you learned ISIS in previous courses. Because of that, I only uh, give you some uh, brief explanation about the ISIS, but uh, you, uh, I expect that you learn ISIS in previous courses. Then we need the N cell, the 0, 0. After that, in this scenario, I'm going to configure all of these rotors as level 2 rotors, ISIS type. IS type is level to only and after that we need to enable log adjacency in ISIS by default we don't have the log enabled uh, log adjacency change then all this is the configuration of ISIS also we need to enable the ISIS on the interface ETH00 interface ETH00 IP router ISIS that's it and then we have also loopback zero of the router one. We can configure passive interface loopback zero. If you didn't learn about the ISIS in your previous courses, you can configure this part of scenario with the OSPF. And after that, let me to copy the configuration of the router one in the R1 CLI. This is the configuration of the R1 until now. Copy and then we can paste it on the rotor one look at here we didn't receive any error message now we can configure also the rotor two this is the configuration of the rotor two here we have hostname r2 then we have a two ethernet uh, 0, 0, and ethernet 0, 01 ethernet 0, 0's ip address is 10.122 it's okay and then ethernet 01's ip address is 10.232 it's okay also, we need to change the network type of ISIS with ISIS network point to point. Because of that, I'm going to replace the IP OSPF network point to point with the ISIS network point to point. Then in ETH01 also, I'm going to use ISIS network point to point. And after that, we need to enable both the, of these interfaces. Very good. Then we need to configure ISIS, copying the configuration of ISIS from rotor one and replacing the OSP, rotor OSPF one with the rotor ISIS. The net address with the same area ID 490001 and the different system ID 0, quad 0, quad 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, IS type is level 2 only, log adjacency change all. Then here in rotor 2 we don't have loopback 0 because of that let me to remove the passive interface loopback 0. And also interface ETH00 has the IP rotor ISIS command and also interface ETH01. This is the configuration of the ISIS and also IP addressing in rotor 2. Let me to copy the configuration and pasting on the R2's CLI. Okay, we will have one neighborship between rotor 1 and rotor 2 in ISIS. After some second, yes, we have adjacency with rotor 1. Then we can configure the rotor 3. Rotor 3 again has two interface ETH00, ETH01. ETH00's IP address, this interface, has the IP address of 10343-255255250. And the ETH01's IP address is 10233-255255250. Then we need to change the network type of the ISIS on this interface to a uh, point to point. Uh, for example, here I'm going to use the ISIS network type to point to point then isis network to point to point that's it and after that we need to configure uh, isis in the in the rotor 3 again copying the configuration of rotor 2 about the isis and pasting on the rotor 3 look at here rotor isis the net address is 490001 the same net address the same area id and the system id should be changed to the quad 0 quad 0 0 0 0 3 dot 0 0 is type is uh, for example level 2 you know that in this scenario we are going to use all of the rotors all of the ISS as the level 2 IS okay and then interface ETH00 and interface ETH01 with the IP rotor ISIS command that's it this is the configuration of the rotor 3 until now copying the configuration 
on the rotor three, okay? And then we have one another rotor, rotor four. In rotor 